Okay, so the next batch of videos um, we're going to talk about, we're still covering and discussing things with scatter plots and lines of best fit. We're just kind of going to the next natural progression because we haven't really quite gotten to a point where anything we've learned is actually useful to us. And uh, these three topics we're going to do today are actually probably more real life applications that you would expect, like if you actually use something like this in a job or something like that. So let's, uh, let's look at this. So what this says is the scatter plot shows the number of years of experience X, right? That's, so that's your independent variable and the hourly pay rate Y, which is your dependent for each of 25 cashiers in Michigan. So that's somebody who works at a cash register um, and tallies up things and then takes money from people. So um, we can see on the bottom, it says years of experience, that's your X, it goes from zero to 12. And on top it says pay in dollars per hour, goes from zero to 20. Um, and it says then below that, use the equation of the line of best fit y equals 0.92x plus 7.98 to answer the questions below. And give exact answers, not rounded approximations. So the first question is, what is the predicted hourly rate for a cashier with seven years of experience? So what you want to do is you want to go on the x-axis and you want, you would, uh, you would look at that, right? And um, you, you would follow that up and we can see it's going to be like 14 something or so an hour, right? So what we're going to do is instead of doing that and kind of guessing at it, you know, it's an educated guess, but sort of guessing, we are going to use this equation, this y equals 0.92x plus 7.98 to give us the answer. And so y is the pay in dollars per hour. That's what we want to figure out. And x is going to be the years. And it tells us how many years we want to put in. We want to put in seven years. So let's pull up our calculator here. And so what we have is we have 0 0.92, all right? And then times, and then we're gonna put in our number seven. And then we are going to add 7.98 to that. So plus 7.98. And if we do this right, we should get somewhere around 14.50, 14.75, something like that. We get 1442. So, and if you look at the graph and where the, the blue line meets with seven, that's, uh, that's pretty close to where it is, all right? So let's put that in, 1442. $14.42, 14 all right, nice. Next one, what is the predicted hourly pay rate for a cashier who doesn't have any experience? This is actually a lot easier than it looks because even though that blue line doesn't extend all the way to the side, the, the left side, which is the y-axis, we can use the equation. So if you have no experience, that means x is zero. So you would have 0 0.92, and I'm just gonna write this so you'll see how silly this is, right? But I go 0 0.92, if it would let me do it, times zero, plus 7.98. So hopefully, if you're looking at that, you're like, why did he put that in? Zero times anything is zero. So pretty much you can just cross out the X term when you get asked about something where your X coordinate is zero, right? So let's put that in. So 798. So that is, incidentally, our Y intercept, right? And then it says, for an increase of one year of experience, what is the predicted increase in the hourly pay rate? Well, all you got to do is look at the equation, and you can see that for every year, you're multiplying it by 0 0.92. So that 0 0.92, like after one year, you go up 92 cents. After another year, you go up another 92 cents. So that's, that's your answer. So it's, it's all kind of right there in the equation. So... 92 cents, right? So if it'll let me put it in here. 0 0.92, all right? That would be the proper way. You want to put that zero in the, the decimal in there, and then let's check. So that is how that topic works. 
hopefully, uh, hopefully that's helpful to you and good luck with this.